Okay, so please introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Lari. Uh, I, I am the, the composer from Zilmra. Um, it's, um, it's a name that, it's a, it's a made up word. It's not a real name. So you can't look it up in the dictionary or on the internet or wherever you look for things. Um, so it has really, it doesn't, it comes from trip logic, from uh, LSD experience when I was a lot younger with uh, an old friend of mine. He came up with the name and just we named a song after it. And uh, after that, it just sat around for years and I uh, ended up using it as uh, the name of this project when I started this project. I thought it was, uh, was fitting. Uh, what inspires your work? Uh, well, that, that, that varies. Um, musically, musically it's all over the place. Um, and lately it's been um, music um, from other far, far away lands. <laughs> you know, um, I basically listen to uh, some jazz, some some noise, um, you know, a lot of, a lot, I find a lot of music on MySpace these days actually. Um, music I wouldn't have heard in any other format or in any other place. Um, and going to live shows I find some things, but for the most part, um, Harry Parch, um, John Cage, Inventors, um, people, you know, innovators like that. Boyd Rice is always one of them. Um, it varies. Robin Gristle. It's all over. <laughs> so, uh, would you consider your work for the many or the few? Oh, it's, it's, it's for the few. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not for the many. Yeah. The music, the music for the many is definitely not where I am. <laughs> At least not yet. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm, I've yet to, to come across five people that listen to the kind of music that I make, you know, in one room at one time. <laughs> so, that's usually how many people are at my shows. <laughs> uh, where do you work best? <laughs> um, I like to play live. I like to play, um, I like to play, I like to play live, I like to work in the studio, I like to work with other musicians. Performance artists, uh, writers, dancers, um, definitely collaborating with others. Uh, what ways has technology, uh, example the web, computer software, Twitter, uh, benefited you? Well, um, a lot actually, and, and you know, when I first started doing working with music, this you know was in the, the late 80s. I mean, we didn't really, we didn't have any of this. Um, you know, there was no MySpace, there was no Facebook, you know. You just, it was mostly word of mouth and flyers and, um, you know, a lot has changed and I actually, I actually really, um, I've embraced, you know, working in a format where I get, I get to network. So it's, I get to meet a lot of bands that I certainly would have would not have come across um, had I not seen them, you know, on MySpace or I don't use Facebook. It's not for me, but um, you know, I, I find I, I find it a lot easier to network this way. I can get shows. I set up shows easier, or I meet other bands that you know I find have similar interests, and um, I have been able to collaborate with other musicians this way that don't live anywhere near where I am and um, you know with file sharing and you know have gotten on some compilations and actually I mean even what I'm doing right here right now 
Um, I would not have found, you know, I would not have found the people that are doing this, you know, the whole podcast and the interview, you know, Phil and uh, Chris Fluid. You know, I wouldn't have met them, you know, without it. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's been, it's, it's been pretty good for me. Would you say it's all positive or is there some negative as well? Oh, there's some negative, but it's, for the most part, I, you know, it's been, it's what you, it's what you get out of it, you know. It's pretty much, if you, if, if you util, if you don't do anything with it, if you don't network, if you don't try to make, put any effort forward to, you know, to, to get shows or to, you know, to, you know, better yourself in any way, you know, not even better yourself, just to, to try and get, get people to listen to, you, you know, it's hard enough to, it's hard enough to get people to come out to shows that live in your own, you know, city, let alone, you know, other cities. So yeah, networking is very, it's important, you know. So there, are, I see there's tons of uh, instruments and everything in the studio. Uh, what are your favorites? Um, the, my favorites are, my favorites are the, the ones that I make myself. Um, I started doing that um, not like, too long ago. Like the um, bicycle wheel back here. Yeah, that's actually uh, it's it's actually it's actually a guitar. It's actually um, an eighteen string guitar. And uh, it makes some nice sounds. It's it's got tuning pegs and in a humbucker pimp pickup and an input jack and a volume knob, which is you can see right there. And um, it's strung and tuned, and I get some nice tones out of it, depending on where I'm playing on it. But, uh, Right now there's a, there's a ring modulator on it, and uh, so it's a little bit of delay. And it gets some really nice tones, depending on how you play it. Sometimes... Sometimes I use an Ebo on it. It's, um, it's a different tone. Um, and I use loop pedals and a bunch of other stuff with it. Um, that's this one. Um, and then I work with, I, I've been working on others. Um, this is a, this is an electroacoustic lamellophone. And um, it's not plugged in right now, but it's percussive. I, I've even hooked up little music boxes to it. But um, I, I get some really nice tones out of this too. I mean, each, each, each of these tones is different length and each tone is different. And um, it's sweet. It's really, it's nice to use in conjunction with um, other effects and um, routing or different, different recording techniques. Um, and I've, you know, I've been working on that one and there are some others I've been working on, but they're not, they're not ready right now. They're not finished. They're still, they're still in production. Um, one of my goals is to have people um, expand membership of uh, Zilmra so I could have a small orchestra of people playing um, instruments that I've been building. You know, it's, it, it's important um, to where I want to be. You know, it would mean a lot <laughs> to see that come into, you know, into fruition.